one of the things that I think is so special about St. Joe's, and I believe one of our founders um, said this, it's not us, this is God's work. And I do believe that when you're here, everybody is, is believes the same way that we are all together doing God's work and in doing so by bringing other people in who want to be a part of this and perhaps can't afford it, tuition assistance is available to do that for them. And that I think is something that um, not other, not too many places offer that. I know where I'm from, um, our schools didn't offer that capability and I think the fact that that's a priority here, that they work all year long trying to grow our annual fund and have this beautiful event once a year solely for the purpose of tuition assistance is truly unique. It's generous. It is truly showing the likeness of Christ through the actions that they do. You know, what the, what the gala does, what any fundraiser does, is ultimately it should serve the mission of the school. And I think I think St. Joe's does have a very unique mission. It's a school that I don't know what it better set out to be that way, but it's very, very ecumenical, which stems from its Catholicism. Um, it's, it's deeply rooted in, in the Catholic faith. Um, I think it's interesting that uh, a few decades ago when um, now St. John Paul II was in Colombia, um, one of the hallmarks of his homily uh, was precisely on the issue of, of ecumenism and um, the role that the church plays in, in working with the wider Christian community that plays to what is so unique about this portion of the state. Um, and the role that St. Joe's plays in that ecumenical mission um, that was identified even before the school came into existence. But because of the wider population here, I think um, it's a very peculiar mission. And, and the great part about that is when you have a strong sense of mission, that's, that's kind of a distinct mission, um, people want to follow that. And the proposal that we have, I think, is, is an exciting proposal. Um, and it's something I, I believe in when I get up in the morning and, and, um, and I get here. At the heart of St. Joseph's is a family that'll support you because everyone here is so supportive. All the teachers are, all the students are. No one here wants to see you fail. And as I look to the future, I'm very grateful that I spent the last seven years here at St. Joseph's because what I've encountered and experienced here, I don't think I would have experienced anywhere else. I think if I went to a different school or met some different people at a different school, I would be very different than who I am. But I think how St. Joseph's has defined me is it's had a huge impact on who I am now and I think who I'll continue to be in college and beyond, whatever that means. Because as I've taken all my classes and I've discovered things that I've loved and as I've molded myself, I, who I am now I think is a very strong character that I don't plan on letting go of next year when I go to college because I think that I've found resolve and confidence in who I am now. We are many but we're one in Christ. That has a lot of implications as far as every aspect of the school and, and again how we relate to the kids. I, I wouldn't want to be in a place where we simply try to create conformity where every kid looks the same getting out of here and or coming in you know that we want we want the kids to recognize where they are um, and again we talk about reality that they they fully understand who they are and and to a certain extent even to teach well requires me to be authentic and I they have to know I'm flawed as well right that we're all flawed in, in a whole different host of ways depending on who we are um, and, and recognizing that we're not going to fix ourselves I mean fundamentally and that's that's part of the whole proposal that we have as well that that um, our, our fulfillment isn't just a you know self-help project um, I one of the great things of being in the classroom sometimes is when you know we, we tend to have sort of these these tracks where we think the kids should go in our own heads and I, I do too that you know there's in a business school or law school or med school, and those are great things. Um, really, they are great things. But it's it's also great to see the kids that, that decide, you know. But I'm, I think I'm going to pursue something slightly different, and we encourage that. Um, and we encourage, you know, that we're not looking simply for the alumni that that pulls in the most money and is the CEO of a business 
um, that there is, there is just as much success um, in, in the person that maybe has the quieter job um, and, and devotes themselves entirely to their family. And, and being able to have those conversations with kids coming from a lot of different perspectives um, and being able to share those perspectives is, is um, incredibly helpful, I think, not only to me, but, but to the kids as well. Um, we, we want the kids to freely choose the life that they have. We don't want them to simply conform to um, whatever, whatever it is we're putting out there. Um, we want them to, to choose uh, to live, um, and we hope in a way that, that corresponds to Christ's call to them. You're always proud of how the event comes together and the fellowship it took to bring it together. But I think at the end of the night, what you're most proud of is that spirit of generosity that you see in that room year after year. It's an amazing feeling. Every year it's different, um, but it's always wonderful. And it's that that's that little glimpse just for that night that says, wow, God is really working here. And how amazing is that? And it just makes you want to do more and find a way to say, you not to, to not forget that moment and continue to find a way to give back and to go home. I always want to go home and tell my kids, you know, this is what it was like tonight. And that's just the one thing that you take from Gala every night is that spirit of generosity, that spirit of knowing God was here. God is here. He is present.